going on? Planet DP, Planet CD here, bringing to you live from Dallas, Texas. Just want to show you how I do my water changes. I've already drained it. In this aquarium, I use your normal bucket right there. Just drained it out. This is how I fill it up. As you can see, I have a clamp here. Control nozzle right there. It's filling up. And you can see this hose. Let's follow the hose. I got sick of using the bucket method. As you can see, all my water comes from that container. I do all my water changes from there. It's a 35 gallon uh, garbage can. That's hooked up to some hoses, and I run that into my reverse osmosis system, as you can see right there. And then I run the cables out there to my garage, to my garbage can, of course. I have it all hooked up to an air pump, heater. And then I have probably, I don't know how many feet. What's going on, buddy? That's my beagle. Anyways, follow, follow that all the way over here, right back to the fish tank. I just fill up my reverse osmosis water and then I uh, put all my chemicals back into it and then uh, let it sit for 24 hours so I'm not putting all the salts directly back into the water and then I do my changes and then I use like an electrical wind up thing right here for my hosing and I just wind it back up really easy real simple trust me it's a lot easier than using buckets I use buckets to drain but when it comes to filling my uh, fish tanks back up, I use my hose with all my reverse osmosis water. Just want to show you how I do it. Simple, easy way. Maybe it'll help give you some easier ideas for yourself. I love the reverse osmosis water, especially for my discus. I use it in my planted tanks because I like taking all the nasty stuff that's in for my uh, city water out and then putting only the good stuff back in. Anyways, thanks for watching my video. Hope you all have a good week. And thanks for watching. Later.